Okay, for uh, code editors on on Mac, there's uh, there's always been this uh, very popular uh, code editor called TextMate, and uh, a lot of people have used it uh, for years, and they really like it. I personally never got around to use it. Um, the other one is also Sublime, which is also available for Windows. Um, the Sublime Text um, Editor. This one I use for years, and it's it's really good. It's not free, um, so there's um, there's a little um, fee to pay, but it doesn't uh, you know force you to buy it. You can still use it. You just get a window pop up uh, every so often. But the one I'm using these days that I really like, uh, and it's called Adam, uh, Adam.io is the is the URL, and uh, this one is really good. Uh, it's a uh, completely free. It's open source, and it was created by the people from GitHub. Um, there's a lot of community around it, so there's a lot of like plugins and extensions. So I really really like it. So we're gonna install that and use it um, th throughout the course. So to download it, you just press uh, download here. Um, it downloads the file. I click on that uh, file. Um, which is a, a zip so that it uh, uncompresses that and now it it uh, you'll see that it's it's uh, it decompresses as the pro program uh, file itself or the application file but it's not good to have it on downloads so I recommend that you put it on application so the way you do it is you drag that to the applications folder like this and so make sure that when you go to application, you find it there. Um, once it's there, you can double click and open it for the for the first time. Uh, this is gonna uh, come up. You just confirm that you want to open it. And here's the uh, Atom editor. So there's a welcome a welcome file in there. And as you can see, you can start, you know, typing your your code in there. Uh, once you save it, and you you save it as uh, as a Python or .py file, it'll start uh, colors. You know, the 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 highlighting of Python will will appear, and and you'll you get really good. Um, um, visualization of the variables and um, the commands and all that um, so this is what we're gonna be using um, and that way we're gonna uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun uh, coding our first uh, Python projects one handy utility uh, is to be able to uh, spawn the uh, atom uh, editor from the command line um, by typing atom so atom like file name uh, but to do that um, you need to create a sim link which is basically like a like a virtual uh, pointer to the path where the application lives so the way to do that is by doing the following command you do sudo uh, ln s and then you put the the folder where at the atom uh, file or application was installed which if you dragged it to the application should be in this path and then you put it on user local bin atom so once you do that um, it'll ask for your password because it's a sudo command and then after that uh, you can do atom test.txt and that should uh, spawn the the atom uh, editor as you can see here but if you, for some reason, don't want to create uh, that symlink uh, method, Atom also has uh, um, a, a command on the menu that says install shell command. So if you uh, click in there, it would, it would install two, um, two commands. One is the Atom um, executable, and the other one is APM, which is the Atom package manager, which might uh, be handy if you want to install 
some packages for Atom uh, utilities and libraries and stuff from the command line. So you put install shell commands, it'll ask you for your, your password, and then it installs the, the command line, um, uh, the, 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 the two different commands. So APM is one of them, which is the Atom package manager. And the other one is Atom, which as we saw, spawns Atom.